ready then. Yapping. Yeah, yapping with your daughter. Huh? Thought you were speak. You what? Oh, you got pictures? At least you get pictures, I don't get none. You know, it always go with me. Right. I never get a picture with me and the one of them, and they don't give me none. You see? That's why I can't understand with this family. I never get nothing to play to you. Oh, she dancing. I didn't even see her dancing. That's to tell you how much I see. In 700 feet, turning left at the second traffic light onto Connecticut. I'll just do. Turn into the second street on the left at the traffic light onto Connecticut 218. I'm just trying to get out of here. Just trying to get out of it. I should have gotten out already, but I ran over Melissa. Melissa. So she named Melissa. Yeah, I went to look at the because she last time I come here. You didn't even come look at where I live. This is all right. The place don't look bad. Please. I I have never been to the place she lived at before because I never want to go here. But this. No, no joke, but this place look all right. It's big. Yeah. See, you don't want to go in here. Because I hear so much about it. But that's the thing. This when you walk in, you have a lot of room. Yes. Petition against him for it. Because we all have to sign paper to block him from getting it. Because he feels he's supposed to get everything that's down there. So now I to tell that caught up one. I said, that's where Stanley is. That's where your brother is. Here's paper towel right here, Chad. So pull down the receipt they can because uh, when Aunt Tell Stanley was getting uh, trying to get Aunt Tell to sign papers that he could get it and try and push them out because he has the other piece next to it. He's right next to them, so and they all change that to get the sign a petition to block him. That's on, that's in the other street. That's not there. 
them of the hotel put all that money in it. Who's Stanley? I don't know. Bruce? Bruce or Stanley? No man, Bruce built the dog up. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Bruce, you know. Because I really don't speak to him. You know? I know somebody told, I know the wife was in Florida. Lives in Florida, I think. And he had, um, my name, he was trying to get, um, I don't, I don't know how it is. I think one of the son was studying medicine years ago. I don't know if he became a doctor or whatever. I know the, his brother lives in Brooklyn. Some church person. I have not seen him from he has been here. I just know when Aunt Etel died, I don't know how he got my number. And um, all the time the man was here, the man never speak to me. I think it was church, you know. I think it was, it was church. You know? And he asked me if I would sing. He called me. Asked me if I was going to Boston and we can ride in. I said, sure. Yes, I didn't go to Boston. And I didn't call him back. I just said, sure. That was it. I leave it like that. I'm going to. friend Sandra might know. Sandra, you know, will know somebody down there because Sandra boyfriend or fiance or whoever live right three houses away. Or he did he, he's moving from Jamaica back home because that was his parents' house. Just before we go up to the street to go to our place. So I think he's moving down this city. This COVID why did move down already? He was trying to Close up in business in Canada. You know, pack up in life because he retired a bit. He wanted to go down. Because I always said to them, said, when you go to Jamaica, it, in my opinion, when you retire and go home, it's, it would be nice to have a little thing to do. You understand? Even something every month you have a small change. You know, you'll have money. Some people say, oh, I just go down and live on. You know, you don't want to sit down. I like to stay active. And I always said that. Well, to be honest, you know, not really, you know. Because everybody will be happy. You can live in Jamaica. I can go to Jamaica and live good on my pension. Just don't go crazy. You can live very good on my pension. so big and then they're there and it might be two of them in this massive old house that's why i noticed a lot of them move to richmond yeah. they sell their house and move to richmond you know because too big yeah and it's too big no too big this one uh, this lady i know this lady that lives there and when she was selling her house, she was telling me, and I look at the house, I said, oh my God, this is a beautiful house. She said she can't stay there no more. She said, don't worry, it. You know, you're paying for this big, massive thing. And she came from England. I don't know what bought it, but I know she's moving to Richmond. And she said she's comfortable because the money she made off the house. And she bought one cash in Richmond and just live her life. You have to have something to, to occupy your time. You know, just, it's not in the sense that, you know, some people say, oh, I just go to the beach. No. After a while, it becomes annoying. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm going to tell you something to go up the street and say, all right, it's not even the money. Just go up and say, you know what, I'm going to fix, to me, I'm going to fix this. Because sometimes I go out and do work that amazingly, you know, I do the charger. I just like to stay active. When I put something big, I charge it up. Yeah, but I just like to stay active. Feel I can get up and do something. But I, I have to find out where Bruce is. He might be, you know, Bruce is a big contractor, you know? yeah. Bruce is not a small contractor, as funny as it sounds. Bruce was a big contractor in Jamaica. Normally, he was a big, um, a little, uh, what's the name of this place? Okay. I can't remember this. This hotel. Bruce is the one, the contractor, who did the second week. And you know the funny thing is, you know, not even this brother, he wouldn't give a job to him. Sam, and if he does, when he used, when Sam used to work with him, he used to treat Sam so bad. You know, rip him off, you know, he do all that work anyway. Bruce, Bruce is evil man. But I have to tell I love him. was the first nephew for uh um, the brother. No, 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 what the brother? First son, what the brother mean? And that brother told her she worshiped that girl. She didn't want to find uh, Moses. She and Moses couldn't get along. Because the two of them was alike and the two of them was even the same way. The two of them was exactly alike, you know. So they never get along. So she moved everything. Moses did not show the interest as far as I understand. Take responsibility. That's why Aunt Peter was in charge of the own family estate. And then she started able to do she wanted. She take her job so much that she become so powerful in it that you know she controlled the property that they lost, the hundred and something acre they lost. You must see the type of house is on it now. Yep. No man, the one where you're going up to Brownstown. Where they used to have pineapple and prevent it. Auntie Tell used to pay the taxes on it. And they used to go there, cut the pineapple, and uh, pick the prevent and nobody wanted to put no money in it. Auntie Tell used to pay the taxes every year until she stopped. And the land just get captured. Somebody take it over. One by um, up the street from Richmond, across it, like when you're going down to run in the big beach. That one, they were all fighting over it. Everybody fighting. Yes, everybody was fighting over it. And then one of them signed it over to some, said some white man cheap. Just to get out of it. That's the white man showed him a couple of, from England, showed him a couple of dollars. He was a senior one year because I remember Junior, Junior said, let's go down because the land is going to cut up. I said, I don't want to get it back in it. He said, no, because remember, part of the land is yours too. I said, no, nope. look at this man. He said, yeah, you know, because what goes to I might go to you. Supposed to where she 
she was going to move because she gave Bruce the big one by the seat. So she had the little one in, in by his little back seat that she was going to give to her. Uh, she was going to live here. That one, here's the cat hiding in the corner. That one, I don't know, Bruce built, she built the house and Bruce ripped her off.
you understand? The devil is going to put it in Andrew's name. You know, I understand that still. Because I said to all you, know, yeah.
I never know he would have, you know, like I would have said, I would have turned around and said, maybe you should go because I'm not going. I would say, Jackie, maybe you should just go, you know, just pay attention to the person that just turned around and come back. You don't have to be there. I think, yes, it's that, yeah. Jealousy. That's a part of jealousy.